Also new tonight, 24 hours after getting sued for not implementing a senior tax freeze, the St. Louis County Council could be one step closer to making it happen. Yeah, council members voting to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to jumpstart the program, but that amount is significantly less than originally requested. Our John Kipper has the latest developments tonight. John? Yeah, Corey, Sam, well, we know St. Louis County needs some amount of money to fund their senior tax freeze program, but it's unclear just exactly how much money they need. And to give an example here at County Council tonight, there were four different votes on four different amounts of money. Three of them failed, and in the end, they ended up selecting the lowest option, $300,000. It's enough to get us by this year, but it's enough to get the program started. St. Louis County Councilman Dennis Hancock certain that $300,000 is all the county needs to get the senior tax freeze program off the ground this year. Enough money to buy equipment and hire some staff. We've had enough uh, political football played with this issue. I think it's time to get, get it busy and get it implemented. The council passed the senior property tax freeze six months ago. But over the last several weeks, they refocused on funding the new program after County Executive Sam Page's administration said they didn't have enough money to do the program. The administration asked for $1.76 million. The bill advanced Tuesday was for three hundred dollars Some council members thought more was needed. He's told us what he needs to do this. Why the continued delay? The council actually voted on bills for four different amounts throughout the meeting, from three hundred dollars all the way up to $1.76 million. And during the discussion, the council argued back and forth on what was said in previous meetings. And Councilwoman Lisa Clancy asking her colleagues to figure it out. I don't know why we are not figuring out a way to meet in the middle here. And we also got a statement from County Executive Sam Page. He called tonight's vote a step in the right direction, and he's going to get with his team to figure out if the 300K is enough money to implement this program. It also should be said the council's going to vote again next week, and in theory, they could change that amount of money. Pointing in Clayton, John Kipper, First Alert 4. John, thank you.